All right, Mozzie, what's good? What is Tom buddy? Chilling, man. Welcome to Vlad TV. Hell yeah, 100. Pleasure to be here, straight up. Well deserved, man. I'm looking at the videos, four million views, you know, million here, two million there. Come on, man. We just applying pressure. We applying pressure, straight up. It's, you know, this, it's our time. Yes, sir. Now, you grew up in Sacramento. Yeah, Oak Park to be exact. Okay, Oak Park. So what was it like growing up during that time? Uh, regular. It was regular. I mean, you know, childhood. A lot of my music identified with pain and shit. So, I mean, you know, childhood was, it was, it was, it was, it was Gucci and Gabbana. I just, you no know, moms, no pops. Mom's on D, pop's doing, you know what I'm saying, X amount of time in prison. So, you know, we wasn't really too acquainted. Uh, raised by my grandmother, dope as fuck. Um, she just, she did anything she could to provide for her squadron. So, you know, it was good. It was just really, um, it was like, uh, you know, I grew up in a strict household. Um, it was pleasant. It was pleasant. It was just like a nigga didn't have moms and pops. You know, that's big during Christmases. Everybody getting gifts and shit. And, you know, Grams get you a pack of hang socks and some drawers. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But right. see, everybody else got basketball hoops and niggas got all type of little, you feel me? So it was just, it was, it was, it was different. But it was lovely. So your dad ended up doing, what, 15 years in prison? Yeah. Okay. And what did he go to prison for? Uh, you know, he was already drug charges, just regular activities, uh, on parole, gangster shit, just the shit that followed the street life. Okay. And you had mentioned that your mom was actually on drugs. Yeah, she was on drugs. She got two children, me and my sis, really couldn't provide for us due to the, uh, you know, due, 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 due to the, the drugs got a hold of her, but, yeah. uh, sis went to Pops, I went to Graham's, and, uh, you know everything. It turned out. It turned out to be a beautiful struggle. And, and when you were born, you, you had mentioned in a, another interview, you were actually a crack baby when you were born. And you were an, an incubator, incubator baby. Incubator baby. Now you know us. Uh, like how many pounds were you when you were born? They tell you. I don't, I don't recall, but you know it was it was it was it's small. It was yeah, small. I was small. Uh, I think probably a month or two over uh, due. You know what I'm saying early, but yeah. Uh, you know it's uh. It, it it really didn't. It wasn't nothing as a kid that I know about until you know we I'm 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 bagging, playing dirty dozens. We call it bagging or lashing. You know what I'm saying just basically talking to my cousins. We going at it and they telling me, nigga, you a crack baby. You know they got more. They they know a little more than I know. So, you know, we, just that type of shit. That type of shit. Just I embraced it instead of running from it, nigga. I embraced it. You sure. feel me? So incubator baby for sure. We pushed that heavy. So you grew up. You grew up in, in Oak Park. Mom, mom is on drugs, dad's in jail. Mm -hmm. uh, like, how old were you when you first started getting mixed up in the street shit? Well, you know, we learned that shit early on. We see our uncles, older cousins, everybody, school, everybody was doing that shit. Starting up 4th Avenue. I actually grew up on 4th Avenue. We have property on 4th Avenue. The park that everybody gang banged, 4th Avenue, Pebble Beach, Old Park, all that shit, that shit, we live next door to it. When I say next door, I'm talking about our house, the park, right here. My grandmother sit on the porch and tell us, bring your ass in. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I actually grew up in the pro on, on, on 4th Avenue, so it was... It's like I got I got to see it firsthand. I got to see it firsthand. This, this shit is getting tatted. My uncle coming in is tatted on him. My auntie, she a participant of the shit. It's just it was just natural. So, but I say I personally like just really start getting involved in street activity probably around like 11, 12. That's you know punching people out for their bicycles, uh, stealing weed from my aunties, trying to go sell it. You know what I'm saying? So I can get some money to get in the dice game. Um, find my brother just, you know, we 12, 14, 13. My brother just hit a house, a house lick. That nigga came up with this tight ass 40 or 4 5 we ain't never seen. So, you know, we start breaking into houses and shit. But, you know, it's just probably like 13, probably like 13, 11, 12, 13 is when I really started getting involved. And you mentioned right around 16, you started getting into shootouts? Yeah, that was regular shit. You know, we game banging. Uh, you just start forming enemies. You go to different ter territories, you form enemies, you getting into different shit, all type of illegal activity. People end up robbing you. Uh, you know, people seeing you ain't with the activities, just regular shit. So, you know, we was doing just, I mean, we drive-bys, 
uh, shootouts, uh, just all, t it was just, it's regular though. It's, it ain't even nothing to glorify, it's just regular, like, for real. Like, like, how old were you when you first got shot at? I got shot at, it wasn't even on no game banging shit, probably like 16, uh, 17. It wasn't even on no game banging shit, it was on some uh, paper route shit. I was selling, we was throwing paper routes five o'clock in the morning, and, uh, you know, a car pulled up on the side of us. I'm driving my grandmother vehicle. Uh, they damn near hit that motherfucker. They slapping Mac Dre. They thizzing Saturday night. You know, this the thizz era. They slapping Mac Dre. It's about four, five Mexicans in that motherfucker. I think I'm hella hard. You feel me? At the time, I'm top rank in my neighborhood. So, you know, I push up like, nigga, what's happening? I park, bounce out, what's happening? What you, what you niggas trying to do? Like, what's happening? You feel me? Uh, jump back in the car because they pump fake and they just dipping and profile and jump back in the car. Next thing I know, they double back, hit a donut, turn, pull up on me, start shooting. Probably like, I think it was probably like six, seven shots. Uh, crazy. I had all my little cousins and sister in the car, all the shit. Uh, the motherfucker, it ate up damn near every wig window in the vehicle. But uh, that was the first time, but on some hood shit. Uh, that shit just normal. House parties, all that shit. Probably like 18, 19, though. All right, so what do you got coming up? Mandatory check. Fuck everything else dropping. I got a fraternal twins from the drop out of nowhere. Management keep telling me, calm down. I'm like, man, I can't. I don't know how to do that. That shit hard. It's right. hard to come. But this mandatory check right now, one up top, I slimy shit you gonna ever hear, but mandatory check, 16, 16. Coming up, I think we 29 days away. Mandatory check. Uh, you know, uh, my whole squad dropping. E. Mozzie just dropped that uh, Bulletproof. Uh, Hus got that Hustle guy. What that nigga Selly Roof shit called? Forever East Part 2. Uh, Bonta, shout out my nigga Bonta. Fuck the law Part 2. Like, we cooking. It ain't it ain't just me. Uh, you know, these niggas on the rise, though. We'll, you'll be interviewing these niggas shortly. I'm, I mean, these, everybody I function with is pure dope, straight up. Ain't no, it's, it's pure dope, authentic. It's really from the, it's really from the soil. It come from, it come from the, the crevices of that corner, so it's well, dope. You dropped 10 projects between 2011, 2015? Uh, I don't really keep count, but I think I should take credit for more than that, because, uh, I think I should take credit for more than that, man. I think I did more than that when I, I think, but I'm gonna say 10, I'm gonna leave it at 10 though. I think I get credit for more than that though. But how I mean, many we do? Do you think that that's, that's a large part of your success, the fact that you dropped so much music? Nah, I think the large part is the reality. Just being real, just being humble. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm popping more than a lot of artists. But that ain't how I take it. That ain't my outlook on that shit. I know I am. Let's we just do the statistics. I know I, I I watch that shit like they watch that shit. But that ain't how I carry myself. I'm genuine. I'm a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I think that's what the people gravitate to. When they see me, they get a feel for me, and it just it just it, it, it's it's like it's electrifying, man. They like this dude is really. Like, it's not, this not the rapper. This ain't the nigga you walk up on in security, like, hold on. <laughs> you feel me? Hold on. What are you doing? This is, this dude is really, I mean, it's, he, it's regular. It's like, here, you want to take a picture? Okay, here, moms, could you hold this cup of syrup? You know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> you feel me? It's regular. It's just, and they function with it. And uh, you see me at, your, at, at, at places, you know what I'm saying? Like, regular shit. You, it's, it's just regular. You, I show up to niggas' jurisdiction by myself probably a passenger with me. But like, I don't gotta come a hundred thick to feel comfortable. I'm comfortable within my own skin. If something happened, of course, it's gonna be re repercussions. A nigga play with me, take this chain. Nigga, I'm gonna get that to you right now. You can have that motherfucker. But on my mama, it's gonna be double back activity. I'm sincere, I'm for real. This ain't, this ain't, you not, this ain't your regular rapper on my mama. But I, 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 I just embrace this shit and I feel like that's what the people that's what the people gravitate to. They just gravitate to just me being regular. I'm regular. I embrace the struggle. I love that shit. I don't. I ain't gotta show up to these slums. I be showing up to. I, it's, it's called vulner, vulnerable, vulnerable situations. It's called vulnerable situations, man. And I put myself in these situations because these are the people who fucking love my music passionately. 
You feel me? You got people who don't even know what the fuck a yeeky is, and they rapping and shit, and they a fan of this shit, and when they see me, they want to take a picture because of the notoriety, but then you got people who actually live this shit day in, day out, and that's where I pull up, and I make my presence felt by myself. Oh, you already know they feel the pain. We, we endure the same pain. Uh, what'd he say? Uh, you can never knock the hustle. We've been through the same struggles. Straight out. Yeah. Nigga said some shit like, uh, it was me and Tuga. Hell gang rollers. Well known shooters trying to shoot you with this Ruger. That's on everything I love. Nigga, everything I love. That's on everything I love. I leave your body slum. Neighborhood nuisance. Murder Ms. Mutant. Crying splatters plotting, trying to tie us to them shootings. Black bitches boosting. Got a bargain on designer. I just sent my white bitch inside of shanks with them slaughters. Live on the wild with my brother in the bounty. Murder was the case. The only thing you heard about him is hella body blows inside a paramedic's fountain. Choking on his DNA, drowning. Nigga, count him out. We up four. Check the scoreboard and count it out. We celebrated the sucker death when we found it out. I'm all about that pistol playing when I'm yoking through. If I don't make it home, just bury me with my homies, fool. You ain't committed for doing shit that you supposed to do. The 40 clip extended. I'm tripping and fully loaded, too. My mama burnt me with a port when I was only two. I still got the scar. It was brazy what she was going through. I'm a fan of Drake. I'm a fan, fan of the idea of Drake, so no disrespect against Drake. What do you mean by the idea of Drake? What does that mean? I mean that if he has a ghostwriter, he's an idea. He's not meaning that it's, it's a perception created that he's not really writing the lyrics. And it's a, it's, yeah, it's just like an, here, let's, let's, let's make this in the factory and put it out. I'm just on top of my game right now, Vlad, and uh, I'm just getting blessed. I'm booked four or five times a week. Six to seventy five k a show, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm winning right now, man, and I'm just steady trying to increase my hustle.